I woke up today preparing to make a very different multiverses video, but instead I woke up to the news that multiverses is shutting down. This isn't clickbait. In 90 days, they'll be taking the game offline until early 2024 so they can work on making improvements needed to make multiverses feel like a finished product. Just in case you haven't seen the video, I'm going to play the clip and afterwards we're going to talk about what it means for the long-term health of the game. Hi everyone, this is Tony from Player First Games and I'm here today on behalf of the entire Multiverses team to say thank you for your support during Open Beta. We've been excited to see the interest and enthusiasm from the community and your feedback has been invaluable to us. We continue to be humbled by the awards the game has received and excited to see the enjoyment that Multiverses has brought to players. Throughout our open beta, we've been working hard to build the best gameplay experience, and we appreciate all the inspiration you've given us. Our open beta has been an important learning opportunity for us and a stepping stone to the next phase of multiverses. We know there's still a lot of work to do. As a result, we have a clear view of what we need to focus on, specifically the content cadence of new characters, maps, and modes to give you more ways to enjoy the game. Along with an updated netcode and more matchmaking improvements, we'll also be reworking the progression system based on your feedback and looking at new ways for you to connect with your friends in the game. To do this the right way, we'll be closing the Multiverses open beta 90 days from today. As part of this process, we'll be pausing updates and taking the game offline as we prepare for the launch of Multiverses, which we're targeting for early 2024. I'm sure you're wondering what this means for you. During this downtime, all online modes and features will be unavailable. You'll have limited offline access to the training room, known as a lab, and local matches, along with access to your characters and cosmetic items within these modes. We do know that this news might be disappointing, but rest assured, Multiverses will be back. We'll also ensure that all your progress and content will carry over when Multiverses returns next year, with a variety of new content, features, and modes. Along the way, we'll be providing updates, so keep an eye on our social channels and website. Thank you again to the entire Multiverses community. We greatly appreciate your passion and excitement and look forward to our next chapter with you. Thank you. So why is this shutdown necessary? Couldn't they do the whole Battlefront 2 thing and fix the game while supporting it with new content? Well, sure, but let's not forget about what happened to Battlefront 2 in the long term. The team behind Multiverses is also much smaller than the team at DICE, and the game is relatively low budget. But believe it or not, I actually think Player First Games is in a pretty good spot. Thanks to them treating this early attempt at a launch as an open beta, I mean the game literally reminds you that you're playing an unfinished beta version of the game every time you log in, they have the option just to take the game down. They've been given the feedback needed, and it's a waste of money to keep servers up if they know they won't be releasing new content, anytime soon. See fellas, I don't know if you've ever run a Minecraft server, but you actually have to pay real money to run servers. Online games are very similar, but on a much, much larger scale. Having online play in a server-based game isn't free by any means, and this allows them to sink more of their budget into improving the game versus just keeping up servers. Still, I'm kind of blown away by the announcement but I do think long term this will be healthy for the game. The list of things they needed to fix was honestly just getting too long for them to manage while supporting a game with new content. Multiverses needs new game modes, new characters that people actually want, new stages, better netcode, and truly so much more. At least with the game offline, they'll have a chance to bunker down and make all of these improvements happen. I genuinely think this is the only way the game could have gotten into the state that we all wanted. Now I do want to address the disappointment in the community. I know you are all hoping for a Season 3 announcement, and honestly I was too. But I don't think the game had a future in the world where that's what we got. They just have too much to fix, as I've been saying for this entire video. Their to-do list looks like a grocery list for a family of seven. While I would have liked to see the Joker, Marceline, and a new battle pass, I think this is ultimately the right call. Also, let's keep in mind that they never promised Season 3 on March 31st, only the end of Season 2. 
that could have meant a lot of things and that ended up meaning the end of content for the game until next year. I don't think they deceived anybody and this was also probably a really difficult decision to make. They might not have even fully known this was going to be their plan until pretty recently. Still, distance makes the heart grow fonder, right? Taking away the ability for people to play the game online will give this game the best chance possible of getting back its player base from launch. When this game drops another cinematic trailer alongside its launch date, I think we'll see interest in the game explode once again. Now as for the lack of communication we've been seeing lately, I think that will most likely continue. I do not think we'll be getting a day-to-day -day development update from Tony or the team. I don't think we'll be hearing much until the week of June 25th when the game is shutting down, and of course until they're ready to launch the game. I'm looking forward to what this ends up meaning for the game, and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this as well. Are you glad they're taking the time to invest into the game's future, or would you have preferred it if they kept the game up until the full launch? You already know how I feel, so feel free to drop a comment with your own opinion. There's another Multiverses on the way as well, coming later this week, where I go over an alternate road for Multiverses and different character choices I think that would have helped the game. If you would like to see that video, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell of course so you see when it pops up on your feed. I'll also probably be streaming soon so I can give my thoughts in a looser, less scripted way. And with all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Nosy Boy, and I'll smell you guys later.